Bienvenidos. Una vez más utilizaremos el recurso de oír un inglés más lento para aprender vocabulario y entender mejor este idioma. Esta vez escucharemos la opinión de un youtuber sobre lo que se llama interfaz cerebro-computadora, brain-computer interface o BCI. ¿Y qué es esto? Es la tecnología por la cual podemos controlar una computadora con solo nuestro cerebro o mente. Recientemente, Elon Musk, un famoso inventor y empresario sudafricano, fundó una empresa llamada Neuralink con el fin de integrar nuestro cerebro con las máquinas, de modo que podamos en el futuro ser tan inteligentes como ellas. Antes de escuchar el primer segmento, veamos algunas palabras y expresiones para que se nos haga más fácil la comprensión. Desde que desarrollamos el lenguaje, ever since we developed language, lo escribimos o fuimos capaces de pasar esa información a futuras generaciones. We wrote it down or were able to pass that information on to future generations. Una imprenta, la cual hizo la información disponible a más gente. A printing press, which made information available to more people. Y así sucesivamente. And so on. Ahora escucharemos el primer segmento. He disminuido la velocidad del audio. Ever since we developed language, we've been trying to find new and better ways to communicate more clearly to more people. Like, language began as something that was only spoken, and then we wrote it down and we were able to pass that information on to future generations. And then came a printing press, which made that information available to more people. And then the computer, and then the internet, and smartphones, and so on. When I say that this is a process that's been going on for a really long time, that includes brain-computer interfaces. En cualquier día, any given day, tú podrías caminar por el lado de alguien con un implante coclear que permite a la gente sorda que sea capaz de oír. You could walk past somebody with a cochlear implant that allows deaf people to be able to hear. Si se preguntan qué es un implante coclear, es este en donde se estimula el nervio auditivo con señales eléctricas al cerebro, facilitando la audición. Implantes retinales. Pongan atención a cómo se pronuncia retinal en inglés. Retinal implants. Retinal implants. Que permite a la gente ciega ver obstáculos y se muevan por sí solos. That allow blind people to see obstacles and make their way around. Pong es uno de los primeros juegos de videos que consistía en jugar ping pong en la computadora. Una mujer parapléjica, a paraplegic woman. Cuando alguien es parapléjico tiene parálisis en los brazos o si no en las piernas. La próxima etapa sería para la gente que no es discapacitada. The next stage would be for non-disabled people. Any given day, you could walk past somebody with a cochlear implant that allows deaf people to be able to hear, and now there are actual retinal implants that allow blind people to see obstacles and make their way around. In recent years, experiments have allowed people to actually play the computer game Pong just using their mind. And in this video, you can see a paraplegic woman actually give herself a drink, pick up a drink and drink from it using a robotic arm that she's controlling only with her brain. The next stage would be for non-disabled people to use this kind of technology, mostly to 
connect their motor and sensory cortexes to outside objects, to be able to control outside objects with their minds. Un email client es un programa de email, como por ejemplo Outlook. Las palabras simplemente aparecen en la pantalla. The words just pop up on the screen. Ya no tenemos que lidiar torpemente con el teclado. No fumbling around with the keyboard. En donde tú vas al piso de abajo. Where you walk downstairs. El café empezaría a prepararse por sí solo. The coffee would start brewing itself. Tú quieres asegurarte de que la puerta estaba asegurada. You want to make sure that the door was locked. You can imagine typing up an email by just thinking that you want the email client to open. And then it opens. And then you just start thinking about what you want the email to say. And the words just pop up on the screen. No fumbling around with the keyboard. Or you can imagine a smart home where you walk downstairs and you want to get something out of the refrigerator and you just think it and the door opens and you get what you want. If you wanted coffee, you could just think that you want coffee and then the coffee would start brewing itself. And then when you left, when you wanted to make sure that the door was locked, you just think, I want the door locked and it locks itself. Now in this case, you're just interacting with the computers through your brain instead of using your hands. That's basically what's going on. Al involucrar tu cortex visual, tú podrías buscar en Google algo solo pensando en eso. By engaging your visual cortex, you could Google something by just thinking about it. Cualquier cosa que tú quieras buscar. Whatever it is you want to search for. Upload. Subir algo al internet. Download. Descargar o bajar algo del internet. ¿Quieres saber cómo es ser un saltador de esquí? Wanna know what it's like to be a ski jumper. Anotar el touchdown ganador en el Super Bowl. El Super Bowl es la final del fútbol americano. To score the winning touchdown at the Super Bowl. Literalmente serás capaz de entrar al cuerpo de otro ser humano. You will be able to literally step inside the body of another human being. El porno va a aprovechar de esto al máximo. Porn is gonna have a field day with this. The next step is to get you online. By engaging your visual cortex, you could Google something by just thinking about it, and then Google would pop up in your mind's eye. And whatever it is that you want to search for would just visually appear in front of you. Engage your auditory cortex, and then you could just watch YouTube videos just right there in your head. Ultimately, once we can engage our entire sensory cortex, people could literally upload full experiences that other people could then download and experience themselves. Want to know what it's like to be a ski jumper? Just download it. You can experience exactly what it's like to score the winning touchdown at the Super Bowl or to win Best Actor at the Oscars. You would be able to literally step inside the body of another human being. Porn is going to have a field day with this. Alucinante. Mind-blowing. Nos uniremos completamente con una superinteligencia artificial. We fully merge with a superintelligent AI. AI es abreviación de Artificial Intelligence. Será como evocar un recuerdo. It'll be like recalling a memory. The final stage is where things get really mind-blowing because that's where we fully merge with a superintelligent AI 
to the point that we don't know where we end and it begins. Instead of Googling for a bit of information, whatever it is we want to know will just pop up in our heads automatically. It'll be like recalling a memory. ASI, abreviación de Superinteligencia Artificial, Artificial Superintelligence. Se volverán más listos que nosotros, nos sobrepasarán. We will become outsmarted, outpaced. Convertirnos en superinteligencias artificiales. To turn ourselves into superintelligent AI. Si no puedes vencerlos, únete a ellos. If you can beat them, join them. And while, yes, there are a million wonderful things that could come from ASI technology, there is also that possibility that we will become outsmarted, outpaced, and unnecessary. So his new strategy is to turn ourselves into super intelligent AI. In other words, if you can't beat them, join them. Ahora escucharemos todo el audio a una velocidad normal. Ever since we developed language, we've been trying to find new and better ways to communicate more clearly to more people. Like language began as something that was only spoken, and then we wrote it down and were able to pass that information on to future generations. And then came a printing press, which made that information available to more people, and then the computer, and then the internet, and smartphones, and so on. When I say that this is a process that's been going on for a really long time, that includes brain-computer interfaces. This is actually nothing new. Any given day, you could walk past somebody with a cochlear implant that allows deaf people to be able to hear, and now there are actual retinal implants that allow blind people to see obstacles and make their way around. In recent years, experiments have allowed people to actually play the computer game Pong just using their mind. And in this video, you can see a paraplegic woman actually give herself a drink, pick up a drink, and drink from it using a robotic arm that she's controlling only with her brain. The next stage would be for non-disabled people to use this kind of technology, mostly to connect their motor and sensory cortexes to outside objects, to be able to control outside objects with their minds. You can imagine typing up an email by just thinking that you want the email client to open, and then it opens, and then you just start thinking about what you want the email to say, and the words just pop up on the screen. No fumbling around with the keyboard. Or you can imagine a smart home where you walk downstairs and you want to get something out of the refrigerator, and you just think it, and the door opens, and you get what you want. If you wanted coffee, you could just think that you want coffee, and then the coffee would start brewing itself. And then when you left, when you wanted to make sure that the door was locked, you just think, I want the door locked, and it locks itself. Now, in this case, you're just interacting with the computers through your brain instead of using your hands. That's basically what's going on. The next step is to get you online. By engaging your visual cortex, you could Google something by just thinking about it, and then Google would pop up in your mind's eye. And whatever it is that you want to search for would just visually appear in front of you. Engage your auditory cortex, and then you could just watch YouTube videos just right there in your head. Ultimately, once we can engage our entire sensory cortex, people could literally upload full experiences that other people could then download and experience themselves. Want to know what it's like to be a ski jumper? Just download it. You can experience exactly what it's like to score the winning touchdown at the Super Bowl or to win Best Actor at the Oscars. You would be able to literally step inside the body of another human being. Porn is going to have a field day with this. The final stage is where things get really mind-blowing because that's where we fully merge with a super intelligent AI to the point that we don't know where we end and it begins. Instead of Googling for a bit of information, whatever it is we want to know will just pop up in our heads automatically. It'll be like recalling a memory. And while, yes, there are a million wonderful things that could come from ASI technology, there is also that possibility that we will become outsmarted, outpaced, and unnecessary. So his new strategy is to turn ourselves into super intelligent AI. In other words, if you can't beat them, join them. Espero que el tema les haya parecido interesante y nos vemos en un próximo video. Gracias.